G'day guys, Vicar here, and I'm back with the highest mileage A8L in the country. And because I'm not running it right now, I'm very worried about the timing belt. This is the older engine, it's not the direct injection, it's just a normal uh, multi point injection, so it lasts forever. But as long as we take care of the timing chains and water bomb and all that stuff in there. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna tar start uh, removing one of the cover. I think this one's gonna be easier. So uh, that's what I'll do right now. And uh, yes, these things, they uh, they broke apart because that's a common issue with this engine. Well, a lot of uh, the engine is uh, those little uh, vacuum thing. Well, they just perish. But it's not the rubber that perish. It's basically the plastic and it just falls right off. I need two of them, but they are like $80 a piece. Yep, $80. And since this engine is, uh, th th these switch over roughly around 4,000 RPM, and this engine is never gonna see that, that with me driving it, so I'm probably just lock them down like this, so it uh, uses the uh, the longer path of the intake. So uh, yeah, let's just find the torque bits here. I got one here, one there. So the previous owner told me he's done the timing belt, but given how many miles and how many kilometers he put on that uh, engine, uh, there is no telling if, if there's been done a hundred thousand kilometers ago, uh, ago or two hundred thousand kilometers ago. So it's very important when you get these high mileage cars. You expect, you inspect everything, and you don't take anything the old owner tells you for granted because they just want to sell the car and not even run is uh, as um, honest as I am when uh, they sell cars so yeah you gotta be careful now there's another one down there it's almost impossible to film I'll remove it and uh, I'll be back okay I removed two boat one here and one down there very 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 easy on these things so I'm just gonna pull it out and See if we got a horror story or if we got something we can work with. Well, I'd be darned. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, it wasn't from the uh, rust of the idler because the car sat for a while. Uh, it would not have any discoloration, but now you can see a little bit of a, you know, the rust, uh, just the rust dust on it. But uh, it's very subtle. There's, it's flexible and all. It's not chewed up. And even the tension is good, so the tensioner is probably just fine. Yeah, a lot of uh, oil leakage from the valve cover here. It leaks all the way down. This needs to be addressed, but uh, that'll be eventually. And uh, yeah, we could go even further. I mean, we could remove this top section here. And then remove that cover down there. But it's all the same belt all the way through, so we know. We got something to work with. So I'm just gonna close that up and I'll start the engine and let it warm up a little bit. Thank you. That's uh, that's half. That's over half a million kilometers, and it's super smooth. It ain't no V8, V10, but it's a V8 nonetheless. And uh, come on, guys. Sounds pretty good for a half a million kilometers, huh? And uh, the. The thing is, it would sound even better if it was not from these uh, exhaust leaks. Because when the suspension gave up, the flexible pipes, they, they dragged on the ground and it caused a hole in them. So, you're gonna have to do something about those wheels. They're not the right wheels for this car. But I do have, do have one of those in here, which I'd really like to get a, three more of. And get them refinished but uh we'll see about that this is this is not a sure thing this car it's certainly not a sure thing so 
There's a the broom. That's the correct wheel for the car. So I need three more of these. Get them refinished. These are really looking good. And they're perfect for the car, perfect size to and all. Three zeros. This is a 19. Whereas uh 255 40 ZR19. So that's the ones uh, that are supposed to be on a car. But they're long gone. And they're probably pretty expensive too. I mean they look good, so whatever looks good is expensive. Anywho, that's it for the belt inspection. Just wanted to know if I could run the engine without risking the engine blowing up. So uh yeah, I'll keep uh, I'll keep you updated on this uh this million half a million kilometer ride here and um, yep yeah, as soon as I can bring it into the shop replace the airbag and uh, replace the tires that are totally wrong size and perished anyways I'll be able to go and have a drive with it and we'll see how good it uh, how good it drives so thanks for watching and catch you in the next one